Today I will show you another way to make a flower on the passup. First make sure the rocking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 38 needles on the front bed of the machine, 18 to the left and 20 to the right side of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now raise 38 needles on the back bed. You have to observe the needle rule. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. You can see the needles up close. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 4. Set the back lock the same way, the lever to N and the stitch size to 4. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I will use two strands of red acrylic yarn. Rotate the rocking handle one full turn anti-clockwise to its lowest position and knit one row. Rotate the rocking handle one full turn clockwise to its lowest position and knit one row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX and the stitch size to 4.5. Set the back lock to AX and the stitch size to 4.5. Raise pushers and the row needles in working position and arrange them as shown in the diagram. You have to put every third pusher in resting position. Now raise pushers and the row needles in working position on the back bed and arrange them the same way. Now knit 4 rows using these settings. Clear the row counter and set both locks to N. Now knit 1 row. Clear the row counter, move both levers to X and knit 4 rows. Clear the row counter, move both levers to N and knit one row. Clear the row counter, move both levers to X and knit four rows. Clear the row counter, move both levers to N and knit the last two rows. Rotate the rocking hand anti-clockwise to its upper position and use the double eye botkin tool or rotate it between 8 and 9 o'clock and use the U70 lock to transfer all stitches to the front bed of the machine. Remove all its springs, place the lock and slide it from left to right. Now take the yarn from the lock and cut it. Thread it into the double eye botkin tool, remove the edge springs and start taking the stitches from right to left. You can take one or two stitches at the same time. When you take the last stitch the flower will fall from the machine. It should look like this. Now use the yarn tail from the cast off to gather the flower and the other one to sew the sides. When you gather the flower, thread the yarn tail into a tapestry needle and hide it between the stitches. Now I'm sewing the sides together.
finally hide the yarn tail and the flower is ready. That's the final result. The diameter of the flower is 6 cm or 2.5 inches. If you set both locks to BX as shown in the video, your flower will look like the blue one. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.